It's everyone's favourite time of the year. New Pokemon games have been released. <laughs> well, today we're ranking every single Pokemon game from best to worst. <laughs> when I say all of them, I mean all of the spin-offs too. When I began looking at all of the Pokemon games that had released throughout the years, it became apparent that there was way too many that just couldn't be classified as games. So I've decided to only include the relevant ones. <laughs> and yeah, I decide which are the relevant ones. So feel free to tell me in the comments why your favourite Pokemon toothbrush app should be rated S tier. It's your opinion, not like it's right. Okay, so obviously getting straight into it, there's only one thing to do first. And that's put that there. I'm ranking Emerald at the top because it's the game, honestly, that I have the fondest memories of. And to be honest, while we're here, instead of this being S, which would probably imply that the games are almost perfect, we're just going to call this best. <laughs> Let's be honest. No Pokemon game is perfect. I really liked a lot of the Pokemon that were introduced in that generation. The the Dragon line, I think, is one of the best with Salamence. The legendaries are all good. Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, and it is just kind of the optimal way of playing Gen 3. That was probably the only outlier. Now we're going to go back to the very start, Pokemon Red and Blue. It would be unfair to rate them any less than A. This game has, like, all of the original 151 Pokemon that basically everyone knows. I'm just going to start going through the list here in order. So next up, we actually have Pokemon Stadium. I've never played it before. Pokemon Yellow, which is just Pokemon Red and Blue, but worse. Pokemon Snap can't go anywhere other than A tier. I honestly have so many good memories of this game. I think it's a game that still holds up to an extent, <laughs> within reason. Pokemon Puzzle League, which <laughs> up until now is a game that I never knew existed. Cold and Silver have some of my favorite Pokemon in the entire series, but I don't think they're as good as Red and Blue. Next, another one of the dumb puzzle games, it goes and never played. Pokemon Crystal is like Pokemon Gold and Silver, but from what I'm reading on the Pokemon website, it's an improvement, but I've never played it. The worst part is I actually own this. I bought the virtual console version of it. <laughs> Never played it. Okay, we've gone long enough. I have to do the first of many opinions that are going to upset a lot of people. And that's put Sword and Shield up here in A tier. Yes, honestly, these are some of my favorite mainline Pokemon games. Most of the newly introduced Pokemon were all good, including the starters. Sure, these games aren't perfect, but things like the wild area and what Pokemon did with DLC made this one of my favorite Pokemon games in a while. And now everyone's clicked off the video. Back to the order of original games, we have another Game Boy Color game, the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Generation 3 again with Ruby and Sapphire is my favorite generation, but I do think Emerald is the best way to play these games, so I'm going to put them at the top of A tier. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Pinball, Sapphire, and Ruby. You know what? We know it's shovelware. It's going in shovelware. The first of many. Pokemon Coliseum next, and honestly, I think this is a game that went underrated for the longest amount of time. For a spin-off game, it delivers mainline quality. It has to go in the A tier. I haven't really put even in C and F tier, but <laughs> trust me. They're coming. Fire Red, Leaf Green are the optimal ways to play Generation 1. Oh, do they go in front of Sword and Shield or behind Sword? And this is just, it's just a stack up in the eight here. We're putting Colosseum down just so I can start spacing stuff out, but we'll, we can reorganize stuff later. Pokemon Dash, never played. XD Gale of Darkness, another like Colosseum. I played XD Gale of Darkness later, and I didn't get the same amount of enjoyment as I did Colosseum, but I still think it follows on in the same concept, and it was still a lot of fun. Plus, you have. Trozy? Oh, this was Pokemon Link. It can have an F. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This game is great. If you haven't played it, basically, you are a Pokemon, and it's like a dungeon crawler. The original one especially, best in the series. A tier. Pokemon Ranger is very good, but also slightly overrated. Pokemon Battle Revolution, basically what I believe Stadium is. The story in it is average at best, but the main gimmick is basically being able to connect your DS and bring your Pokemon onto the Wii. Also, an honorable mention to the banger soundtrack. The original Diamond and Pearl. This has to be rated above Sword and Shield for me, but these two are just so good. They're some of the original Pokemon games I played, so they have to go A tier. My Pokemon Ranch literally serves as the way to get Mew. Apart from that, this game sucks. The second entry in the Mystery Dungeon series, not as good as Blue Rescue Team and Red Rescue Team, but still solid games, so they can come in at the bottom of B tier. The next Pokemon Ranger game, it 
Yeah, it's okay. You did get Manaphy from it though, but that's kind of over overshadowed now that they've just given it away for free. Next up, obviously, instant best here. Platinum is the best way to play Generation 4. I don't know why this wasn't the game that was remade with Brilliant Diamond. It still honestly ranks higher than Brilliant Diamond for me. Next Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, Explorers of Sky. I own it, I think. Oh, this is the original Pokemon Rumble. Yep, yeah, okay, that's just, it's just F, isn't it? It's just, yeah. Heart Gold, Soul Silver. These are my favorite Generation 2 games. They have so much content, but they're a bit boring. B tier. Poke Park Wii. What the? Oh, what the hell is Poke Park Wii? Next Pokemon Ranger game goes and never played because I never played it. Pokemon Black and White, some of the best in the series, but Black and White 2 are the slightly better versions, so this is going to come in just behind Sword and Shield, in my opinion. Generation 5 is so good because it's 200 entirely new Pokemon, whereas Diamond and Pearl has a Pokedex of 150, and about 100 of them are reused. Pokemon Rumble Blast. It's Pokemon Rumble, but again. Poke Park 2. You're telling me they made a sequel to this sh Pokemon Conquest! This actually looks pretty good. It looks like Pokemon Fire Emblem, but I've never played it. Black and White 2, up there with the best. If you're gonna go back and play a Pokemon game, play Black and White 2. They're so good. More Mystery Dungeon! I never played this one, but just expect, well, more Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Rumble U. I never had a Wii U, so I never played it. Pokemon X and Y are probably the worst mainline games, but they still introduce some great Pokemon, and it's still a pretty interesting region. C tier. <laughs> more Pokemon Link means more shovelware. Pokemon Art Academy, instant shovelware. <laughs> Oh no. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are remakes of the original games, but they're pretty different, as you can fly now. I probably have nostalgia goggles on, but I still prefer the originals. I'm gonna put these in B tier. Pokemon Shuffle, no idea. Pokemon Shuffle Mobile, <laughs> no idea either. More Pokemon Rumble. Apparently they thought these games were good. The first one sucked. Why would any more be any good? Pokemon Picross. They just don't stop, do they? They serve a purpose, right? If you want to play Pokemon, but it's pinball, you have Pokemon, but it's pinball. We're nearing the newer games now. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, I've never played. Pokken, it's, it's a good side game. It, it's not great. Pokemon Go took over the world and immediately lost it in the space of a few months. The game's actually pretty good now. It has raids and stuff, however many years we are down the line. <laughs> you know, it's a mobile game. Sun and Moon is significantly better than X and Y, but that tutorial section <laughs> loses like 10 points. It's a cool region with some cool Pokemon, but the totem things were pretty dumb. TCGO is a great card game, but it doesn't quite have the same satisfaction of using expensive pieces of cardboard. Pokemon Duel! Pokken DX is literally a re-release and I couldn't tell you what's different. I'm just gonna assume it's ever so slightly better than the original. Back to Sun and Moon, the Ultra versions are filled with content and have way more going for them than the originals. This is probably the best way to play Generation 7, but these games don't really compare to Black and White 2 as sequels. I've never played Detective Pikachu, so can we just rate this based on the film? It's like C tier. Pokemon's attempt to compete with Minecraft is just an awful mobile game. Never played it and I never will. Uh, you know, I don't even think it's got any relation to Minecraft. I think they're like, wow, look, Minecraft does blocks. We can do it too. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Solid games that people are going to look back on and be like, actually, these games weren't as bad <laughs> as we thought they were. Unlike the Diamond and Pearl remakes, they try a few new things with new catching. Not like it's good or anything, but you know, they, they tried. Pokemon Masters EX. Sorry, I had to make sure I pronounced that one correctly. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. It's a remake of the original Red and Blue Rescue Team, and to be honest, I never finished this game. So that kind of means I have to rate it C tier. Now, this is actually my favorite game, right? Pokemon Rumble Rush. Now, why is that your favorite game? Because if we go on here, Pokemon Rumble Rush was formerly a free-to-play game developed by blah 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 blah. It was available from the release in spring 2019 until its termination in 2020. So this game didn't live very long. Because this game kind of just got erased from the Pokemon company's memory. <laughs> It doesn't show up in the list of every game. They've completely just deleted it. It's not even here. And for that, this game is the king of shovelware. Pokemon Cafe Mix, absolute crap. That can go there. New Pokemon Snap, it was a lot of fun. It wasn't as good as the original. It looks amazing on the Switch, which for some reason the mainline games don't really, but that's another topic. 
Pokemon Unite was similar to Pokemon Go, how it was extremely popular and then immediately fell off. It's an interesting take on the MOBA genre, but honestly, I got bored pretty quickly. It's going in B tier. But first, actually, I'm going to split up these categories. Having B and B plus should space out these games much better now. And now, just two Pokemon games remain. One of them hasn't released yet, so it's finally time to talk about Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I've finished Brilliant Diamond, but I've not touched the post game yet, and overall, I thought it was an enjoyable remake. Most of the problems that existed with the originals are still here. There's no fire types, which Platinum fixed. The gym leader's team variety is still awful, which Platinum also fixed, by the way. The new Underground's a great addition, and I had my fun with it, but it functions almost entirely separately from the main game. So finally ranking the game... I'm gonna put it here. Well, that's the tier list. I did a bit of reordering and here's my final list that I'm sure we all unanimously agree is the correct order. And those of you who don't, you can tell me angrily down in the comments. I've stuck my template down in the description for those of you who wanna give it a go yourselves and be sure to send me a picture on Twitter or Discord or whatever you wanna do. And let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Goodbye.